Good morning, everybody. Hey there, it is Melanie Mitra of Chic Influencer. And we are continuing our series today. And I'm so excited to just give you some advice today in our Prepared Over Panic series about wellness. So as a business owner, right, and somebody that really truly studies high performers and people that run amazing large companies and are making an impact, I always have been so curious about how do they maintain the pace that they run at. I mean, I watch people that fly all over the country and are in multiple cities in just a few days and host these huge live events and are doing online classes and speaking and training and leading. And I always think to myself, how do they do it? And so I made it one of my missions in 2019 to really focus on the skills of becoming a high performer, to actually practice on a daily basis in preparation for the kind of company that we're creating here at Chic Influencer. Because you see, we don't just want to be a small mom and pop shop. You know, Katie and I have this vision of a global brand, a, a business where we're speaking and leading and we have a huge organization. And that means that we have to train for that. That means that even when we're small, even when we're just getting started, which was 2019, we had to be training as if we were a large global company. And so in 2019, we both really leaned into what does it take to grow this kind of business, to scale it to the size that we want it to be. And it all came down to us and what we were personally doing in our health and our wellness. And so as business owners, as we're really navigating through a really uncertain time, the best thing we can do right now is establish some, just some pillars, right? These pillars are things that are going to ground us. They're going to keep us centered. They're going to help us focus on our mindset. They're going to be, they're going to be preventative, right? They're going to give us what we need to be able to show up for other people the way we want to and to run at the capacity that we envision ourselves running at. And it really begins with us. It's not about having a certain amount of revenue. It's not about the size of your team. It's not about the number of followers you have on social. You can't serve other people if you don't serve yourself first. And in business and in life, even when you're riding on an airplane and they talk about at the beginning before you take off, they go through their little, you know, their little thing where they talk about putting the oxygen mask on yourself first before you put it on your child and your significant other. And for moms, especially, it's really hard to do that. We want to take care of our kids first, but I want you to think about it this way. If you don't put the oxygen mask on yourself first, when you are in a burning building, if you put it on your child first, you may not be able to get that child out of that building. And it is the same thing in life. If you do not put the oxygen mask on yourself, you are not able to lead people out of their darkness and into their light. So today we're going to talk about just a few of those simple wellness tips that you can start practicing today that I'm going to give you tips that don't cost a lot of money that are simple and very easy to do. So number one, I want you to find time in your day to create a routine. That may be first thing in the morning. It may mean that you're going to get up 20 minutes earlier, okay? Some of you, your kids are off of school and you're working from home and you don't have to be up at your normal work time, but get up, right? Get up in the morning, go to bed, and maybe 20 minutes earlier at night, discipline yourself to do that. Find yourself a quiet, comfy chair in your house, and I want you to grab a journal. And in that journal, I want you to write down um, every single day, I want you to write down three things you're grateful for every single day. I am grateful for my family. I am grateful for our health. I am grateful for the food that we have on this table. I am grateful that I can work from home, all right? Um, number two, I want you to say, you know, what is your intentions for the day? How, what would make you feel good about the day ahead? And I want you to write down three things. Like I would feel great if I, you know, um, played a board game with my boys. I would feel great if I got that email sent out or if I cleaned up my inbox, right? Um, I'd feel great if I went live on my social media and gave some advice to other business owners about, you know, hashtags. Third thing, I want you to set your intentions um, or your affirmations. I want you to say like, I am 
these are your I am statements. I am full of energy. I am ready to take on the challenges of today. I am decisive. I am motivated. I am ready to lead other people, right? I am attracting, you know, opportunities into my life amidst the chaos. These are your I am affirmations where you look yourself in the mirror and you believe it. I am decisive. I make decisions. I am not a fixer, right? So you just create those I am statements. I am in control of my fears and my worries. The next thing, and that should only take you about five minutes, right? The next thing that I encourage you to do is there's two apps. There's the Calm app and there's Simple Habits. It's really about which one you like the best, but I actually go in and I go to the app and I choose um, a meditation. So for example, um, this morning I went in there and it was Calm Your Anxious Mind. I listened to that. And it, for that five minutes, I choose those five minute meditations, right? It kind of looks like this if you're wondering what it looks like. Um, this is like the Simple Habit app. And so I just go in, choose a five minute meditation. I put my earbuds in, I've got my, my AirPods, I sit in the corner, I uncross my legs, I do my breathing, and I focus on just being present and listening to that meditation that, that boosts your serotonin and gets you going. The next thing I'm going to recommend is this book. It's called Super Attractor by Gabrielle Bernstein. I love this book. She teaches you in chapter one about changing your thoughts. The first thing is recognizing that you're having an anxious thought. What if my small business goes under because of the current situation? You recognize that. I'm aware that I have this thought that I actually can't control the outcome. We recognize it. Then number two, we forgive ourselves. Melanie, it is okay that you're having this thought. You're human. There is a lot of uncertainty right now. Number three, let's choose a different thought. Now we say to ourselves, what can I do? Can I run an online store instead of an in-person store? Can I host virtual workout classes instead of live workout classes? Can I do drive-through pickup instead of in-store pickup, right? So now we choose another thought. We choose a different direction and way to look at it, a different way to create opportunity amidst the chaos. This book has been great because it's all about manifesting and attracting the things you want. If you think about fearful thoughts all day long, you attract more fearful thoughts. If you think about more empowering thoughts, you're going to get more empowering thoughts throughout the day. So those things are, are super important. And I really love this book. And I encourage you, even if it's just 10 minutes, to sit down and read. And my last piece of advice for you is, you know, being in community and moving your body. Well, I guess there's two actually, you know, is moving your body. And I know exercise is proven and, and every high performer out there, they move their body. They get up in the morning and they exercise. If it's a run on the treadmill or a Peloton bike, or they go out for a run in the neighborhood, they're training for a marathon. They're taking a personal training session. They're doing an at home workout program, but we're moving our body. People that move their body, people that exercise and take care of themselves, they feel better. They are more confident. They have more mental clarity. When you fuel your body with good food and exercise, there is no doubt you are going to show up in your life in a totally different way. I notice a huge difference when I eat sugar, when I drink alcohol. I'm not as mentally clear. I'm a lot more anxious. I don't feel good about myself. I'm foggy in my brain. So I want to encourage you guys to say, hey, right now, there's a lot of unknowns. And the worst thing I can do for myself is feed the sugar demon, is feed the mental fog. So what can I do during this time to make sure that I'm fueling myself with really good food? And last thing, it's just community. You guys, we, all, we talk about this like social distancing and taking a social media break. But what about instead of taking a social media break, if you started saying, I'm going to take a, a permanent break from negativity. I'm actually going to unfollow people that are super controversial or that are super negative. I'm going to hide their posts on Facebook so I don't even have to see them anymore. I mean, heck, I just did this yesterday. I was like, snooze, unfollow, 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 unfollow. I don't need that in my life. If you aren't going to be positive, if you're not going to be optimistic, if you're not looking, if you're not solution oriented, you're not my people. But I am going to seek out those that are like, what are we going to do? How are we going to get through this? What's the plan? How do we show up in a positive way? I am going to, like even this morning, I was messaging my sister-in-law about things we could do for her business, right? So what are the things that you can do right now to really get in community with the right kinds of people? 
that may be joining our chic influencer community. That may be the laptop lifestyle that we're getting ready to run. You know, that could be any, that could be our planner tribe because you bought the planner and that's free, but plug in, stay connected to the people that promote positivity. You guys, we here at Chic Influencer truly believe that your business and your mindset, all of that, it's one, it's one total package to serve other people really well. We always have to serve ourselves first. All right. Okay. You guys, if this was helpful, tag a friend in the comments below, feel free to share this with other people. We want to get the message out there that we are here to help you guys to be the best versions of yourselves that you can be even through times of uncertainty. Hope you guys have a great day and thanks for tuning in live.